and I'm back again on my day off, which is pretty much the only time I can film these vlogs. Uh, and since my days off uh, are usually different week to week, uh, I, I've been uploading videos on different days. But for this vlog, I just want to uh, talk about a tweet that I tweeted out. Uh, I've been following politics for a long time, really. Even when I was a kid, I would uh, watch the news and, and I would uh, follow events and other s stuff going on in the news. I think it's because my parents would record the news on my birthday and my sister's birthday uh, for, like, I guess history. Uh, just to see what was going on in the world. Uh, each year. We probably still have the VHS tapes that we record the news on somewhere, but, but I'm not sure if we have a VCR player now, so uh, I don't know if I'll get to see the news from the past again. <laughs> but anyway, I've been following this crazy election and there's uh there was this one story i've heard uh, a couple times now about uh crazy conspiracy theories about hillary hillary clinton's health uh that she has a brain tumor or suffered brain damage, or she had syphilis, uh, stuff like that, based on no evidence. But another uh, diagnosis people give Hillary Clinton that she has autism, but then they use it to say that she's unfit to be president. Because she has autism. And so then I, I tweeted out, out uh, so what if she has autism? Because uh, that doesn't mean she won't be a good president or a bad president. She's already been a senator, secretary of state. A lawyer and I think a bunch of other stuff uh, so even if she does have autism that didn't stop her from doing all the uh, all the uh, jobs important jobs she's done in her life including running for president. Like, she's done that twice now. Both times she's done pretty well. She came in second uh, for the Democratic nomination in 2008. And this year she won the nomination. So yeah, both times were really a really a success. But the thing that really gets me is that people are saying that because Hillary Clinton might have autism, that means she's unfit to be president, which is totally stupid. There's been lots of people who have autism uh, uh, that have had 
uh, great careers. Uh, like Susan Boyle, Lady Hawk, famous actors like Daryl Hannah, Dan Aykroyd, who co-wrote and starred in Ghostbusters. He made one of the biggest movies ever. Not that one. There you go. Uh, one of the most iconic. And I also found out that the guy who invented Pokemon has been diagnosed. Uh, with autism. Pokemon was really big when I was growing up and now it's really big again with Pokemon Go. And probably the most famous celebrity with autism is Temple Grandlin. Been a big activist, wrote, wrote a couple books about autism, had a movie made out of her life. He's like known as the lady who thinks like animals. There's a whole lot of other famous people who might have had autism, but we don't know for sure. Like uh, Stanley Gubri, the famous director, movie director, and then also Sir Isaac Newton. They have seen traits uh, that suggest he also was autistic. And I've also heard Thomas Jefferson. He is said to have written the Decora Declaration of Independence standing up, didn't sit down while he was writing. Albert Einstein, I almost forgot to mention him, and he's like the most famous person who probably had autism. Also the smartest person ever to live, maybe. I had to mention him in this video. And th there's a video I'll, I'll link to that that has more people uh, uh, who are famous and who have been diagnosed with autism or Asperger's. Uh, I'll put a link to it somewhere around here. But I think people are just using autism to try and hurt uh, Hillary Clinton uh, because of ignorance uh, when they think of autism, they uh, probably think of people who have a severe case who can't uh, function uh, as well. That they have trouble with you know, motors skills and, and, and lack of communication, that, that's probably what they think of, and they, they think uh, all other autistic people are like that in some way. Uh, or have something similar when the, when uh, the truth is if you've met one person with autism then you've met one person with autism. I've heard that saying <laughs> and for the record I'm not saying that Hillary Clinton is not autistic. There might be a chance that she is yeah, I'm not a therapist or a doctor, so I'm not going to speculate. But, you know, I, I haven't seen any autistic traits from her, so more likely that she doesn't. But even if she did, that doesn't mean she can't be president or that having autism would make her less qualified than Donald Trump to be president. So yeah, that's what bugs me about uh, when I hear shit like that in the news about autism. So yeah, uh, that's what I got to say. <laughs> So, until next video, bye-bye.